Rain, dude. Back with game two. This is the team that Ash Ketchum Gamer uses on ladder a lot. It's like a team, I think Ski or Ski, however you pronounce it, made this team, right? I think it's Rest Man if you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the team that uh, Kid of Death used in last round, if I'm not mistaken, with Scarf Landris, Bantar, Mega Medi, Helmet Torn, Spadef, Bulu, and Z Move Heatran. I used this in a show on live. I know like all the sets, unless he changed them. Uh, Eclipse made this team, if I'm not mistaken. And. Another Titar. Kid always prepare for Mega Swampert. Stuff, yeah. Mega Swampert is like a huge problem. We have some defense Maybe on the, like. Bandit we have some defense yeah. investment on this Bulu uh, on the team that Eclipse made. So mm -hmm. that might come into play to deliver Ice Punch from Pert if Ash Ketchum Gamer doesn't expect that later when he thinks the Bulu is in range. The Greninja's Ash on this team, I'm pretty sure. Damp Brock, Pelipers. Uh, yeah, just Spikes, Fire Rocks, Pert, I think. And then I think it's Zemov Tornadus. I don't remember which Zemov it is, though. Uh, probably just see fly, but I don't remember exactly. This this is a rough matchup for Kid, cause like only thing he has for Pert is Bulu. Yeah, like Pert, like Bulu can get overwhelmed easily, cause Bulu is kind of needed for the mana. Exactly. And <laughs> the trend, dude. He taunts breaking Peace. the rocks turn one, as he does get the play correct, and now um, he turns out into his Pelipper mm. here. I assume mana is also a potential play. If, but like, even if the trend has Toxic, it can't go for it here because it's taunted. So yeah, Pelipper yeah, is also Pelipper okay. Is okay, why? Hard for yeah. fire. Um, I guess he predicted why? the taunt to stay in for some reason, but there was like he was never staying in there. So now he goes for Magma Storm, predicting a U-turn, gets the play correct, gets some extra chip on the Pelipper. Uh, yeah, I don't think I would have gone for Z that early. But I, yeah, he just predicted the taunt to stay in. And like, if the torment for knockoff for some reason, that would have been super good for him, but he obviously didn't. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to say now that he he should have, like, he could have Z move turn one, but like, he wasn't expecting taunt. So, so now, this is like really already bad for him, because like, what do you switch in? Like, I mean, Ash Ketchum Gamma could just go for rocks. Wait. Yeah, like, he could uh, go yeah, for rocks. He doesn't want to let you get up rocks on his. No, yeah, but what I was mm -hmm. going to say is he could just go for his own rocks, but just attacking with Pert seemed fine, because Pert had like no switch in. Waterfall again, waterfall again. So he predicts the tornado, and as long as this tornado, as long as this tornado doesn't have, I mean, tornado should live a, does tornado live a band pursuit because it's at full already, like a ninety four. I think uh, so. If it has HP, it should live. Uh, I don't think this has HP because it's a uh, offensive Z move torn. So this pursuit yeah, might gonna do like eighty ish. 70. Yeah, probably. Like, he might just crunch because like he doesn't have a switch in really. That's also true. Uh, I think he's gonna pursue, but let's see. Tyranitar versus... Yeah, Pursuit is nice too. Uh, then blue Pursuit does 88 to 104. Blue. I mean, Crunch was a safe play, but with the grassy terrain and leftovers, I don't think the Pharaoh gets 2 KO ever. So now, Ash can go for... A Hazard or Leech Seed. Yeah, goes for Rocks. Yeah. Okay. Heart Medic Champ yeah. predicting... Oh, so it's... Yeah, Rocks or Leech Seed. Wait, so what's, the, what's the bird then? Power Punch? The bird? Maybe. Or oh, or I didn't even realize or that. Is it double hazard Ferrothorn? I think it is. Yeah. Well, the part is it a power like... punch or like super power or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's fourth. So he goes into that predicting a high, yeah, jump, high jump kick, yeah. which um, Torn can live that. Oh, 50th. Oh, it's Helmet, it's not Z-Torn, it's Z-Man Z Man if he's my bad. Oops, <laughs> nice fail. So the Torn is Helmet, which means it would have lived a uh, Pursuit earlier. Ah, uh, any U-turns there. Yeah, this match is looking... This yeah, Ash Ketchum Gamer reads the T there, yeah. Uh, I feel like Yuton was kind of an okay play. Like, if Maddy stayed in, it would have been bad for him. Because Maddy would have lifted the Yuton, right? Yeah, it's at 84. Yeah, I don't obviously. know if he should have the T No, he just clicks he Waterfall. Clicks Waterfall. Yeah, I also the potential other move on the Swamp, but if it's not a fighting coverage move, it could be Raindance, I guess. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like, I don't think he the wants to. Raindance for, their, for the rest mana fee. I mean. Yeah. I don't think he can afford. Yeah, mm -hmm. He cannot afford to go hard Bulu here because he needs that right for Manaphy and Pearl, and for Gren as well. Like Bulu is like so pressured in this game. Uh, yeah, Pearl can can, can live a hit here unless it's Ice Punch, but a Waterfall is gets snagged up, and now he can like. Carp explosion. Oh, explodes! Okay. I wasn't sure what he would go for, so he exploded potentially breaking the uh, Pelipper because he wanted to get rid of that, and he just sacks the Feral he Heat Wave. I don't know if it would have died to Hurricane. Probably would have barely lived it if it's Spadef. Yeah, if, if he defogs now, if he defogs now, Titar can live a U-turn from uh, Torn, and then he could trap it and then run with his Bulu. That's nice. 
Uh, I think <laughs> the Manaphy is Telgo Rest Ice Beam's water move, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's the Z. No, it's not. Is it Z Rain Dance? I don't remember. <laughs> I think it's Z. I think it's just Z Water. Yeah, it's but like. Nuke, like Bulu and stuff. Yeah, I guess. I'm not sure. If you it have Rain Dance, ice. you can still use Z Water to get speed. You can also okay, use Okay, Hydro Roar. just burned it. So Bulu eats that up with ease, and now this is actually looking winnable for Kid of Death. So you can just. Did you the T here? I mean, that would be hard, but I think Hornleach is fine as well to get health back. He has these, which is a bit odd. I think you either attack the or like Insta side you can double. Uh, but yeah, Protect gives this healthy. And like, I know mm. Hurricane doesn't even kill, but you still need health on Bulu, so I don't know if you want to risk that. Does he, does Tita live a Hurricane? Does Tita live Hurricane into. Yes, uh, yes, yes, nice, nice. Hurricane. Would Tita have lived Hurricane into U turn? I would probably not have lived that, but rocks up. No, no. Hmm. Uh, Hurricane? Like Hurricane would have done like um, 65 to 70, I think. It's like a head calc, I don't know exactly. I think it would have done around 70 to the Bulu. So this worked out really well for Kill of Death, but I'm not sure. Yeah, all of a sudden it's looking bad for I mean, Hashkash I kind of understand. Like, Bulu has like a decent chance to 1v1 Torn, because Torn has to hit like at least two Hurricanes versus Bulu. But it was still really risky. So it goes Tardy Break in the next Hurricane, he doesn't want to risk it now. Uh, his Bulu already put in some work. Yeah, now. So the rain is gone. Yeah, rain is gone for has it. Yeah, I mean, either Manaphy or Pearl, one of the two might have it. So Tita goes down into a U turn. And then. Uh, I think Kit can just go into Medicham. Well. You could hurt Well, actually, again. never mind. Why did he hurricane <laughs> again? So he goes into his own turn. I was gonna say he can go into Medicham if Ash U turns potentially, but Ash didn't U turn, he just hurricane. So now. Is he gonna defog here or. Yeah. And I don't think yeah. you don't go hard into Torn here. You either Hurricane or you go U-turn into Medi, because you do need the uh, Bulu still healthy. You don't want to go hard Bulu on the Ice Punch. the Medi on the uh, Ice Punch. That's good. If you go hard Where? Bulu on the Ice Punch, it would be bad. Yeah, hard Medi would be cool on on Ice Punch. Did you turn into HAK kill? I'm pretty sure High Jump Kick does like a lot because Medi is broken as mon. Uh, high Jump Kick. My head count would say like 85. Let me see. Medic no, I, I don't. I don't. Legs are ugly as fuck. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. It, I don't think. Perth I jump kick does 95 to 112. Hello. Never mind. <laughs> From Jolly. Wait, Medic. Jolly made it. From Jolly, yes. Okay, never mind. Okay, it's not you, Jerry. See, that's the one play I don't think he should have made because he gets two hit KO'd from that. I think he should have either affected Torn or gone into Medi there. Well, with Protect, maybe he doesn't. Oh, with Protect and the Sand Ends, he doesn't get two hit KO'd. That is my bad. But still, that was still risky. You also risk getting frozen, but I guess you cannot play around freeze. It's like if they happen, they happen. Yeah, I still don't think I would have made that play, even though it worked out for him uh, with the terrain. And like I didn't pay attention. I think to he should have like, kept his. I think he should have kept his T turn and T chain around because this mon is really annoying. Also, yeah. there's some other OU game, but that's not for a tournament, so I'm not gonna look at that. Hurricane miss is annoying. I would have brought it in guaranteed range from high jump kick. Uh, but oh, sorry, does he freeze him? So now he dies to helmet. Yeah, so catch him game is free to switch out, but he just huh? risks it and sacks the Swamper. That was a roll, but yeah. Now, Torn clicks like U turn slash Kane here. I think at this point, so you, it goes in his own turn. You need to keep your sacks alive. Well, this Manaphy, I guess it has Ice Beam to hit Torn and Bulu. Is Manaphy is still threatening because if it goes for. Um... Yeah, Man Manaphy can, can oh, kind of win in actually. So now you just yeah. Horn Leech, obviously, I mean, or Bulu do you. Takes, man. I don't know you if SD and then just go for the dodge. I mean, I don't know if he SD because. Yup. Yep. Like, I don't know yep, if he yep. SD because. Um, what if the Manaphy tag load into Ice Beam? Oh, you still get health back with Horn Leech. Yeah, yeah, you get health back with Horn Leech, so that was okay. But. Yeah. Uh, then he now switches. I think. Um, Hurricane, like I said, would have done around 70 to the to the Bulus, and he would have gotten a good amount of health back with Horn Leech, but he doesn't risk it right there. Earlier he risked it, but now he doesn't. Uh, then it's a short yeah, game. Uh, I mean, it's offense. Now like, he just tail blows and he wins, unless he hacks his. Bulky, exactly. offense, bulky offense versus Rain is to be expected to be like a faster yeah, game. Yeah, this, this game is over. Yeah, I think you should have just went for the Dodger, though. So unless, now Ice Beam uh, kills the Torn, and then if Ice Beam doesn't kill the Bulu, it's going to bring it low. Well, it doesn't kill, I'm pretty sure, because it's Spadef. Should it, like, 90? Oh, it does kill, wow. Uh, so that the reason why it killed is because roll. this Bulu has a little bit more defense investment and it's not that Spadef. And yeah, probably a roll. 
Damn. Say GG. This guy did not say GG in game one either, or am I missing something? I'm not no, sure. I don't think it, I don't think he did. Maybe he's playing on his phone or something. <laughs> JK. But yeah, it's one one. Uh, game three is gonna decide, and we are obviously all rooting for Kid of Death. We didn't talk about it yet, but it's like I guess probably obvious from how we have been talking. So I see you guys with game three.